The international hit streaming television series, The Chosen, viewed well over 400 million times, has made its home in North Texas. With headquarters now based in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, this faith-based global phenomenon has garnered unprecedented success as the number one highest grossing crowdfunded project of all time and the first ever multi-season show about Jesus Christ. The massively popular series is captivating audiences with its stunning cinematography, superb acting, and compelling storylines portraying the authentic life and ministry of Jesus as seen through the eyes of those who met him. In addition to traditional male roles such as the disciples, Pharisees, Roman officials, and others, The Chosen also showcases a number of women who convey both rugged determination as well as tender-hearted compassion. Actress Amber Shanna Williams discusses her role as Tamar and the similarities between herself and her character. One thing about me is that I'm a terrific person. If if Amber sets her mind to something, it's going to happen. And so I feel like I relate a lot to Tamar in this way. And I love the fact that you can there and and allow this female representation to be so many things at once. Season 3 production of this historical drama series is currently underway and multiple thousands of extras from 36 countries and all 50 states flocked to the Salvation Army's Camp Hoblitzel in Midlothian, Texas to take part in the filming of an upcoming episode depicting the biblical account of the feeding of the 5,000. Filming the massive scene on a 900-acre section of the facility with picturesque rolling hills and wide open spaces is among the first of the series' large-scale productions in the new location, which has been selected as a permanent site due to its ideal topography, local weather, and Middle Eastern feel. Dressed in first-century styled clothing, participants were treated to an all-day field festival including games, photo opportunities, costume displays and real props from the show, as well as live musical performances by Micah Tyler, Shane and Shane, Big Daddy Weave, and the Bonner family. Throughout the day, extras were intermittently directed to an adjacent open field to capture the epic scene also known as the miracle of the loaves and fishes. The story is recorded in all four Gospels and is the only one of the miracles of Jesus to appear in all four books. Historically, it is written that Jesus took five loaves of bread along with two small fish and divided them up among his disciples to distribute to the crowd. Providing for the people both spiritually and physically, the food then miraculously multiplied, thus becoming enough to feed the more than 5,000 people gathered there. Dramatic, humorous, and inspiring, The Chosen is touching viewers around the world by breaking religious boundaries and providing non-denominational, non-Hollywood insight into the greatest story ever told. Over the course of its initial seasons, the series has garnered praise from critics and fans alike for its historical and biblical accuracy, genuine humor, and disruptive impact. Produced by Loaves and Fishes Productions and distributed by Angel Studios, The Chosen is created, directed, and co-written by established filmmaker Dallas Jenkins, son of the celebrated Left Behind author Jerry Jenkins. He also serves as an executive producer for the show, along with The Chosen CEO, Daryl Eaves. With a personal and career mission to help individuals, brands, and businesses make a positive impact in the world, Eaves is CEO of the highly successful video marketing strategy company, Creatus through which he has helped his clients generate over 54 billion views on YouTube. How did you and Dallas get that? Yeah, so um, I built a career uh, helping uh, people get content out to the world. And, and my specialty is actually YouTube and social media. And uh, spent a, a whole career doing that. And I just discovered uh, Dallas through a friend who we did a, a, several projects together. And he says, you have to see the short film that Dallas made for his church. I didn't know who Dallas was, but I watched the short film and it spoke to me on a deeper level. And I and and then um, I heard that he was doing a TV show, and I just wanted to be a part of it. I just wanted to to help, you know, in my way, which is getting eyeballs on things and building audiences uh, to get this out to to the world. Now translated into 56 languages, The Chosen has consistently ranked in the top 50 entertainment apps on iOS and Android. All seasons are completely free to watch with no fees or subscription dues necessary by downloading the app, viewing online, or tuning into the Angel app on TV. 
The fan-supported series is voluntarily funded by viewers who make the personal choice to pay it forward after viewing. That when I bring my loaves and fish to God, when you bring your loaves and fish to God and you hand them to him and he deems them worthy of acceptance, the transaction is over. Yeah. Everything after that is up to him. And because of that truth, because my life changed and I was willing to give it all up, I said, whatever you have for me, God, I will do. A couple months later, I had the opportunity to do a short film for my church's Christmas Eve service. Filmed it on my friend's farm 20 minutes from my house. It felt like a tiny loaf and a tiny fish. A big step down from what I'd been doing before. But I was open to it because I knew it was no longer my job to feed the 5,000. And then when the idea for The Chosen came, and they said, we should do it via crowdfunding. And I said, that's ridiculous, it makes no sense. The all-time crowdfunding record is five and a half million dollars. We need more than that to do a show like this. That makes no sense, but you know what? Loaves and fishes. For more information about this free seven season television series that tens of millions of people won't stop talking about, visit online at thechosen.tv.